And now to make sure we understand the partial pressure in Dalton's law, let's do an example. So here we have a container. Its volume is 5 liters. It's kept at a temperature of 0 degrees centigrade, and it contains 2 moles of nitrogen, 3 moles of oxygen, and 1 mole of argon. And the question is, what is the partial pressure of the nitrogen gas in this container? Well, the first part, we'll just go ahead and use Dalton's law. We can say that the partial pressure as a ratio of the total pressure is simply equal to the number of moles that we have of the gas in question, which is nitrogen, divided by the number of moles total in the gas. All right, that would then be equal to, let's see, we have how many moles of nitrogen gas? We have two moles. And we divide it by the total, which would be 2 plus 3 plus 1 mole, which is 2 divided by 6, which is 1 third. So the partial pressure of the nitrogen gas is one-third the total pressure. Now we still need to figure out what the total pressure is before we can figure out the portion belonging to nitrogen. All right, uh, let's see here. Total pressure, let's use PV equals NRT. And so therefore the total pressure is equal to NRT divided by the volume. The total number of moles is six moles. R is 8.314 times joules per um, mole times Kelvin. Multiply times the temperature, zero degree centigrade is 273 Kelvin, so that's 273 Kelvin. And then divide the whole thing by the volume, which is five liters. Of course, you want to convert that to uh, pascals. That would be, uh, no, not pascals, to cubic meters. I should say, so it would be 0 0.005 meters cubed. Remember that uh, one liter is equal to 0 0.001 cubic meter, or one cubic meter is equal to 1,000 liters. So it's a 1,000 it's a, a to 1 ratio, so 5 liters then becomes 0 0.005 cubic meters. All right, now we, uh, with a calculator, we can figure out what that is equal to. So we have 6 times 8.314 times 273 and divide that by 0 0.005 equals it is 1 2 2.72 times 10 to the 6th 2.72 times 10 to the 6th pascals now how do you convert that to atmospheres in case you're wondering well we can convert make this atmospheres at the top pascals at the bottom one atmosphere is 101,325 pascals so if we divide that by 101,325, we get 26.9, roughly speaking, 26.9 atmospheres. All right, better be a strong container. That's a lot of pressure right there. So now we want to figure out the partial pressure of nitrogen compared to the old pressure. So this would be one third of total. So we can say that the pressure for the nitrogen gas is equal to one third the total pressure, which is one-third, 26.9 atmospheres, which is, so we divide this by three, and we get 8.96, 8.96 atmospheres. So the pressure contributed by the nitrogen gas in this mixture since it's one-third of the total in moles or in number of molecules, would be one-third of total pressure, or 8.96 atmospheres. And that's how you calculate the partial pressure caused by any constituent of a gas in a mixture of gases.